Let's take a couple of moments and we'll check out the backup camera settings on Pioneer's AVH290BT. Now please note, in this video, I'll be using the optional NDBC8 backup camera from Pioneer. So let's uh, switch on the backup camera. We're going to go to the home button here and here's my camera view but you can see it's grayed out and we need to fix that. So let's touch the gears and we want to go to the toolbox and to the camera settings. Now under camera settings we need to switch the backup camera input on. There we switched the backup camera input on. Now if I hit my home button you can see that my rear view camera is now available and I can switch that on at any time while I'm driving. You can see that the rear view camera is live. Now I have two settings here. The first one is a timer. Now when I touch the timer I can adjust my AV source anything, any way that I like. I can adjust the volume. I can uh, adjust the track here. Uh, whatever you want to do. If you stop touching the screen for a few seconds you'll see that your camera now comes back. There's the camera back and when you want to close out of the, uh, the camera view just hit the X. Now my camera can also come on automatically when I put the vehicle in reverse. Vehicle is in reverse right now and, uh, and the camera automatically comes on. I can choose to hit the X to close this screen or I can choose to, I can put the vehicle in drive. Take the vehicle out of reverse and the camera automatically switches off. So let's take a look at some of the camera settings here for a moment. We'll touch the gears toolbox and back down to camera settings. So the other camera setting here is the battery polarity. This is used to switch the, uh, the backup camera on automatically when you put the vehicle in reverse. The head unit, the in-dash receiver here, needs to open the camera window so we can see it. That camera polarity tells the, uh, tells the head unit to open the window for the camera automatically. So let's go back there to camera settings. This can be a battery switch or a ground switch depending on your particular installation. We'll leave it on the battery switch right now. That's how I have it set up in this demonstration. And uh, finally let's take a look at the uh, picture settings. Now this will be the picture settings for uh, the head unit source and for the camera. You can see that my picture adjustment here is grayed out. We need to engage the parking brake. Once I engage the parking brake, my picture adjustment becomes available. Now this is the picture adjustment for the source screen that you see here. We have the brightness control and we can make this uh, make the brightness a little higher or lower. We have the dimmer setting. Now the dimmer setting is for dimming the lights on the head unit, dimming the overall brightness of the head unit, head unit for nighttime driving. And you can get more information about the dimmer by checking out the dimmer video. Here's our contrast we can adjust and back around to the brightness. Now let's go back up and we can switch to our rear view camera. You can see that this is a live camera view again and we have uh, brightness, contrast, color, hue operation as well here. So here's brightness, the dimmer, hue, color, contrast, and back around to brightness. You can make the adjustments that, uh, that make you happy. When you're done making adjustments to the camera settings and to the AV source settings, you can just hit the X to escape.